rant and rave. It's championship weekend coming up on Sunday with two big games, the four best teams in the NFL, I believe. Mm -hmm. First, let's talk about the AFC, Tucker. Is everybody going to be rooting for the Chiefs to knock off the Patriots? What do you think? Yeah, of course, everyone will be rooting for the Patriots to fall, but I don't think it will happen. I know, oh. they, I know they played early this year in, oh. in Kansas City and Patriots, or at New England, I should say, and the Patriots won. This time they're going to Kansas City. But I still think playoffs are special. Tom Brady's special. He's won so many playoff games, and I think you can't count against him. You can't. You have to be mm. careful. But I think the Chiefs have something special this year. And, they of do. course, Patrick Mahomes has been outstanding. I'm taking them just because I want them to win the ball game. Mm -hmm. And and I don't dislike the Patriots. It's not their fault the dumb Falcons lost a 25-point <laughs> lead. So it won't be surprising to me if they do go back to the, another Super Bowl. NFC side, look, this is a family show and everything, Tucker. Yes. So I can't display my hatred for the Saints. But you know what I'm doing here. Go Rams. You've you've re I heard on your radio show you're calling it the you're now an official affiliate of the Los yes. Angeles Rams. Yes, the Middle Georgia affiliate for the Rams coming up here this week. Well, they do have a fan base with Todd Gurley playing there for sure here in this state. Uh, the Saints had their kind of almost blow it game at home, and I think they rebound from that. They're, they're playing at home is special for them. They get it done. Oh, close. Saints and Patriots. Oh, and they got to come to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. The Saints and Patriots in Atlanta. I hope you get a note of that there, Arthur. All right, how about a little NBA talk now? Who is the most impressive Hawks rookie? They've got three rookies, of course, with Trey Young, Kevin Herter, and also Mari Spellman. All three are getting playing time now that Spellman's back up. I'm going to say Kevin Herter, the number 19 pick in the draft last June. I really like this guy, and, and it's no knock necessarily on Young, but I mean, this yeah. kid, both of them are 20 years old. I just think Herter's going to be a guy who could score 15 at some point, and he's already up to nine already as a 20-year-old in the NBA. I like him a lot, Tuck. I think I'm going to go with you and say Kevin Herter. He's one of the guys who is doing it kind of a, and he was unexpected to perform how, he, how well he's doing already. Trey Young, you know, he's good. He was a high-profile player in college. Herter was to an extent, but Herter is the big surprise uh, yeah. out of the group for sure. He really is. He's playing very well. They all three are really playing very mm -hmm. well. All right, finally, Braves, we're still waiting for the Braves to get a right fielder. Should they get A.J. Pollock? Is that the answer for them, Tuck? What do you think? I don't think so because I did read that they'd have to give up a draft pick, and I'm all about trusting the process. Stay with, you know, plug somebody in if you have to, but don't just, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, I, I think that's a lot of money, and, and I wouldn't want to give up draft pick either because of the international sanctions. I say Adam Jones. You know what? He's a little bit older, a little bit, a little bit cheaper. And Plug get him rid in. Of him after one year and then have Christian Pache come up, and that ought to be good. I'll say sign and, uh, Adam Jones instead of A.J. Pollock. That's Rat and Ray for this week.